Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. We all know that good health is very important and with the pandemic on the rise we need to take extra care of our health. How do we take care of our health? We need to follow certain steps that is exercise regularly, eat the correct food that is a balanced diet. What do we mean by a balanced diet? That is we need to include the correct amount of nutrients that is carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals etc. So all this should be available every day when we consume our food. Drink plenty of water because most of our body is made up of water. We need to consume a lot of water in order to stay hydrated. So by following these steps we can maintain good health. So our topic for today is good health. Health once lost cannot be regained. What's the use of having wealth, plenty of money when we don't have good health? So we need to have good health. We need to pray regularly. All these help us lead a happy and peaceful life. So let us see what do we mean by good health and what are the types of nutrients we need to consume every day. We need to inculcate all these steps for a better living. So we are going to talk about the components of food. We all know that we as humans we need food to survive. So food, water and shelter are the basic needs of a human. Not only human beings but also animals and plants need food and water to survive. It contains, so this, this food that we eat to survive contains essential components they known as nutrients. So the food that we consume contains essential components that are known as uh, nutrients. These nutrients, so what is the purpose of these nutrients? These nutrients provide us energy we all need energy. In case we don't have sufficient energy, we, are, we always tend to be tired and would prefer to be in bed. But the food that we consume has to have the essential components known as nutrients. And these nutrients give us the energy to do work and help in repairing old cells etc. So what is the purpose of these essential components known as nutrients? When we consume food which is rich in these nutrients, it gives us energy to do work and also helps in repairing the old cells that are present in our body. Hence, it is very important for us to know the components of the food we eat. So we just can't take something that is offered and just put it into our mouth and digest and everything is over. We need to know what are the nut nutrients, the components that are present in the food that we eat. So let us see what are the different components 
or the nutrients that we need to consume in our everyday life. So we see that we're going to recall the important components of food and it is given in the form of missing letters and we're going to find out what words are there by inserting the appropriate alphabets in its blanks. So let us see the first one. So we have the alphabet C, we have R, B, D, T, S. So let us find out what are the other alphabets that are missing. So the first important component that we know is carbohydrates. Car, C, R, B, Ho, H, Y, D, R, A, T, E, S. So we need carbohydrates in our food. So we have found that C, then we write the alphabet A, R, B, O, H, Y, D is there, we write R, A, E, S. So the first components is carbohydrates. So the first important component is carbohydrate. C A R B O H Y D R A T E S. So we need to include carbohydrates in our meals every day. So talking about the next we have the letter F and S. So the next component is F A T S. Fats. So the next components is F A T S. So all these components need to be included in our diet be it breakfast, lunch or dinner. So we need to eat it in any form. So the next important component is fats. Moving on to the next component we have the word starting with we. So we know it is vitamins. We I T A M I N S vitamins. So we have V I T A M I N S. So the next important component is vitamins. So we've seen carbohydrates, fats, vitamins. The next moving on to the next component is minerals. M I N E R A L S minerals. So the next component will be M I N E R A L S minerals. So the next component is minerals. Moving on to the next component we have starting with R roughage. R O U G H A G E roughage. So we have the letter R O U G H A G E roughage. So we have the components carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, minerals, roughage and the last is water w a t e r we have water so w a t is there e and r so these are the most essential components known as nutrients that needs to be included in our everyday meals carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals roughage and water so talking about the components of food we all know that we need food to survive and this food that we eat or consume 
contains essential components known as your nutrients and what is the purpose of these nutrients these nutrients provide us the energy needed to work and play and also helps in repairing the old cells etc hence it is very important for us to know the components of the food that we eat so the components are carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals roughage and water so these are the important other types of nutrients carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals roughage and water so we will move on where we are going to see what which type of food contains what essential nutrient <laughs>